Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. For those of you that are new here, I'm a professional intuitive empath and we are going to get into some readings. Okay, if you're interested in booking with me, you can find me on evolvingwithmonette.com. We will set up a time and a consultation. I was really led to do some readings for everybody, for the collective, for the Scorpionic full moon. The pink full moon that we had, the scorpionic full moon that we had. First card that just flipped out is Scorpio. Rest, regeneration, and coming into balance. That's what some of the themes are. One of the things that caught my eye and my attention was that this is a time of great sexual healing, uh, sexual tension, as well as being in alignment. So some of us may be holding back. Some of us may be Moving forward, but either way, this is something that is coming up here that seems to be rather important. I'm going to look up the lyrics to a song real quick here, guys. Usually I come in prepared, but I wanted to read this to you because I believe that this is going to be the theme for many of the people that are watching this video. So let's see if we can find it. I'm going to get you the lyrics, and we're going to talk about this song by Robin, and that's Robin spelled R-O-B-Y-N. So, yes, we're going to talk about the balancing with the Six of Pentacles, the Scorpionic Energy, Death, Rebirth, and Transformation, as well as the Four of Swords, which is about rest and regeneration, kind of sewing your heart back together. But after you've done that, what are you moving towards? So let's pull one more card, and then we're going to get into the lyrics. I don't even know if I'm going to post this video, guys, so let's see. It's like 3.30 in the morning, and I woke up, and I thought... I gotta work. <laughs> I gotta work. Being left out in the cold, Five of Pentacles, getting your mojo back, Queen of, of Wands, and the Tower, explosive energy. But see, sometimes the Tower, especially combined with other things, can be something that's more orgasmic than it is calamitous, right? Now, this is about you getting in touch with yourself here with the Queen of Cups, another Scorpionic energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, getting grounded. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Empress, and then finding balance with yourself. Queen of Pentacles. This is very much about nurturing the things you nurture, the way that things nurture you. Clarify that energy for me. New karmic beginnings with the Wheel of Fortune. Taking your time. Coming out of stagnation. Understanding that walking away was part of this process in order for you to find your energy. Becoming a strategist leaving community conflict behind, and this is the card. I wish you could see it. I'll be back online here in the next few days. The Two of Cups, gorgeous, beautiful blending of energy, mutual feelings, and that, my folks, is how my angels work. That brings us right to honey. Uh, let's get into it. Mutual feelings is always indicated with the Two of Cups, and here, let's talk about what that means with Robin. No, you're not going to get what you need, she says. But baby, I have what you want. Come get your honey. I think that's so interesting. No, you're not going to get what you need. But baby, I have what you want. Come get your honey. I'm going to keep going. She says every color and every taste, every breath that whispers your name, it's like emeralds on the pavement. Every color and every taste, every breath that whispers your name. It's like emeralds on the pavement. I've got your honey, baby. At the heart of some kind of flower, stuck in glitter, strands of saliva. Won't you get me right where the hurt is? At the heart of some kind of flower, stuck in glitter, strands of saliva. Won't you get me right where the hurt is? Where is the hurt, Divine Feminine? Where has the hurt been yeah you know that's poetry and prose what she's done with this song but when you hear it it trips over you it is like honey it is slow it is undulating it is very decidedly sexual and i don't think that it's a coincidence this is sexual healing this is what mara and gay sang about when we get that feeling we need sexual healing with that two of cups this is a blending of energy this two of cups is juicy it's abundant it's overflowing some of you guys have deprived yourself of that kind of connection and that kind of knowing back to robin and when the waves come in 
and they're golden. But down in the deep, the honey is sweeter. Oh, it's sweeter, baby. And the sun sets on the water. But down in the deep, the current is stronger. That's so interesting to me growing up in the Keys that you understand about rip tides, rip currents, and undertows. The undertow is what Robin's talking about. See, when you dive down, you could be zipped down the shoreline in a matter of seconds. And you could think that you were down there for an eternity, but it was just a matter of seconds. And you could be a good quarter of a mile, half a mile, even a mile down the shore if you get caught in an undertow. When you fall into love, when you get regenerated, there is that kind of pull that takes you into a thing and you lose yourself for a moment and you maybe bob up from that place and maybe you're disoriented. No, you're not going to get what you need. But baby, somebody out there has what you want. Come and get your honey is what your angels are actually talking to you about because this is a part of our experience. The reason that relationships are enticing, they are sweet, they are sticky. The reason that they pull us in to an undertow is because it's the only place that many of us will learn lessons about how to exist on this planet is in the mirror of a relationship. And so you are asked, to come and get your honey. Some of us forget the sweetness of this undertow. Some of us forget the sweetness of a connection. Some of us forget the sweetness of sexual nutrition and regeneration. She asked in verse 2, can you open up to the pleasure? Suck it up like some kind of treasure. Let the brightest place be your passion. Can you open up to the treasure? Suck it up like a treasure. Let the brightest place be your passion. I got your honey, baby. Let go of your doubt and say yes. Let it soak up into the flesh. Never had this kind of nutrition. That one was particularly powerful when I heard it years ago. Let go of your doubt and say yes. Let it soak up into the flesh. Never had this type of nutrition. Wow. A lot of us have been in all manner of relationships, toxic, high, low, you know, we've run the gamut, but a lot of us have never had this kind of nutrition. A lot of us have never been pulled into the undertow. A lot of us have been so focused on getting what we needed, our needs met. That's a big word for empaths. What do you need? You're too needy. It's too much. So... This I thought was quite clever. No, we're not going to get what we need. It's not even about our needs anymore. What we want. A lot of us had been settling in relationships where our needs weren't even being met. Let alone our desires being fulfilled. What she's talking about is that kind of nutrition. That's tantric sex nutrition. That's real intimacy. That's caressing. That's touching. That's kissing. That's intimacy, guys, not just the, the, the carnal sexual energy and multiple positions and being a porn star. All of that has its place. But when you are intimate, that's getting like face to face. And a lot of us have not had that type of nutrition. We've been so focused on barely getting those needs met that we forgot about what we wanted. But she says, the universe says, the angel says... The next love relationship says, baby, I have what you want. Come get your honey. You see, it's a beckoning. It's a call. Maybe a siren's call, but it's a call. I have what you want. Come get your honey. We are transcending just the needs, right, empath? Now we are allowing ourselves to be indulgent. What do we want? You know, I definitely know in my life that there are so many areas that I had settled in various relationships for just getting my needs met because that's what I thought I was worth because I wasn't indulgent because I didn't nurture myself because I hadn't rebalanced my sacral chakra. Now I know for a fact that I attracted a level that a lot of people would not maybe think would happen if they were to just give me a once over. But that speaks to the power of our vibrations that radiate when we are in alignment. 
My energy is powerful and I'm aware of it now. And it means that you cannot wield it and be disruptive because when you've been in a place of just getting what you need, that's a lack in poverty, poverty consciousness, right? To get to the place of what you want, you have to think abundant. That means that with the next card that came up, Seven of Cups, you have suitors. Not only do you have suitors, but you have options. Not only do you have options, but you have choices. Not only do you have choices, but you have the pick of the litter. Every fantasy, everything that you've wanted regarding a love relationship will gravitate to you when you rebalance. It's no longer a scrappy fight of needs. Any of us that came out of any third party dynamic were living in a lack and poverty consciousness, usually foisted upon us by ourselves and or the partner that we were with. They loved that because it made them feel like, look at this, not enough resources. Let them clamor. Queens and empresses walk away. Divine feminines and light workers and empaths walk away. When you know your worth and you know your value and you know the power of your balanced sacral chakra, your solar plexus, your root chakra, when you know the power of a cleansed and steam yoni, when you know the power of a smile, of your warmth, of your welcome, of your embrace, of your nutrition, that's sexy. Sex starts there. A lot of us are sapiosexuals if you're on this channel. We care about communication, words, and the vibration that's held within. Sex starts in our brain. Let go of your doubt and say yes. Let it soak right into the flesh. Never have that kind of nutrition. I want you to welcome in that kind of nutrition, Divine Feminine. I want you to welcome in that kind of honey. Let that pour over you. We are going and transcending and just being okay with getting what we need at our needs. We've lived a whole life with just barely getting our needs met and then feeling grateful when they were met. Do you remember that, empath? Because I do. I think gratitude's wonderful. Gratitude's what got me to this place where I live a more abundantly emotionally where I'm more sure of myself and where you get to be more sure of yourself too. But now, start being grateful for the things that you want coming to you. If one of the things that you want is a relationship that actually nourishes your soul, speak it out. Robin has. I'll pull a few more cards before we go. Let go of your doubt and say yes. Let it soak right into the flesh. Chase after with the Knight of Swords the energy of fulfillment. But no longer are you in a runner-chaser dynamic with anybody. The things that you want are coming for you. You are done with that season of sneaky misgivings. People holding back. Four of Pentacles. Now you radiate like the sun. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. But now it's four of wands. Joy and joy more abundantly. Joy for another day. The four of wands in any deck is about a balanced, stabilized relationship that is exuberant. It's a place where we like our spouses and we don't just love them. The four of wands in the light seer's tarot is, uh, looks like they're outside of a carnival. The four of wands in... The Spellcaster's Tarot is a same-sex couple doing a hand fasting, but it's about absolute bliss and choosing one another. It's not about contractual obligation. It's about knowing that someone is your person and being really happy with it and grateful because finally, let's end with the last card, King of Wands, Sexual Energy, Phallic Energy, Balanced Masculine and Feminine Energy, Forthright thrusting, honey, the thing you want is finally wanting you. What a way to wrap. No, Divine Feminine, no empath. You're not going to get just what you need. I'll add that in. The universe has what you want. They've got it for you. They have what you want. All you have to do is put in the peti petition to go and to get your honey. Let that soak right into the flesh. Final card, the star, wish fulfillment, Aquarian energy in the age of Aquarius, number eight, abundant infinity. 
abundance and infinity, ever looping in and out of each other, a snake coiling in and out, kundalini rising, wish fulfillment, I wish I may, I wish I might, find a wish that I wish on this night. What are you wishing for when you hear this? With the energy of smooth and ever flowing connection and sexuality ever present right now, what are you wishing for? If some of you have not been able to find yourself in this position, what do you want, empath? Not just what do you need? I love the star here. It means that a wish is going to be granted. It also means that you've done your healing. This is a very healing card. In many of the decks, she's naked. It's sex all day. But beyond that, it is about healing. And finally, for the first time in a long time, in an ever after time empath, it's about you getting your way. And maybe that includes some honey. I love you guys. Come back and join me next time, and we'll continue to evolve together.